I think it'll probably taste better if his picture's there. <laughs> How you know whether it's the right consistency or not is you should be able to poke your nose and feel the same consistency on an avocado. Hmm, my nose is definitely softer. Sometimes when you eat avocados, your lips get chapped. So step one is making hollandaise sauce, which is like that yellow sauce. To make hollandaise sauce, you need to set up a double boiler. That's almost ready. And in the hollandaise sauce goes egg yolks. I've never separated an egg yolk from an egg before, but I have seen it done. So we're just gonna try it. Oh, nope. Probably should have done this different. Huh? I know it's not white, but that's what it's called. Oh! Oh wait, we're supposed to whisper. Okay, it's okay if it breaks. <laughs> I used to be really scared that I would open up an egg one day and there would actually be a baby chicken inside that was dead. But nope. Just the yolks. Oh man. Oh, oh that was close. So. <laughs> You are going to need to have several pans going at the same time because it all has to time out perfectly. So think ahead. Wash your hands because eggs have salmonella. Egg yolks check. Oh, whisk. I need to whisk. I don't have a baby whisk. I wish that I had a baby whisk. Make sure you're equally yoked. You're supposed to bring the water to a gentle simmer and that is looking very gentle. I'm actually gonna put everything in here first and then put it in the pan. And one eighth teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Hands point away from me, you catch Yeah, point towards your little sister. A fourth teaspoon of salt. Oh, we didn't need the salt. Don't put the salt in the holidays, but salt's good, so. Keep whisking. And then step two. Okay, okay, okay. Ready or not. Meanwhile, we're melting a cup of butter. And then we're going to slowly add it in one tablespoon at a time to the holidays. I think I have the whole list. I've been working on. So when it melted, ah, it even melted so well that some of it came out. You preheat the oven to the broiler setting. Then to poach the eggs while this is getting ready. Now, I'm not following this poaching. Um, Every time I hear the word poaching, I think of Mighty Joe Young, where the girl is saving the huge gorilla from getting poached. Anyways. So to poach the eggs, I'm actually going to use something I got for Christmas called a sous vide. I don't know if y'all have heard of these, but um, there's an app on your phone that comes with this sous vide, obviously, and it's called Jewel. I named mine uh, Susie, they ask you to name it, and I spelled it. S-O-U-S-I-E because that's how you're supposed to be. I'm going to click the ultimate poach. Hold on, I'm distracted. Okay. Um, I don't know how to use an iPhone. <laughs> Julian knows this. Okay, so ultimate poached egg upgrade. I'm gonna click that. 60 to 90 minutes. What it's doing is it's circulating the water like a little baby water fountain. And it keeps the water at the perfect temperature and whatever you're cooking turns off really 
well cooked all the way through, so not one part of it is less cooked than the other. He whisking until all the butter is incorporated, whisk in the salt. The salt! We did need the salt. Okay, while this is finishing up, I want to introduce you to the cast iron. This is what I will be heating up my ham and cooking bacon on. We have English muffins. Um, you can tell there's a big difference between an English muffin and an American muffin. Their body type is very different. We're gonna slice these in half. And then the only other thing we're gonna need to do with these is put them in the oven and we're gonna kind of toast them under the broiler and then take them out and put butter on them. So I also really enjoy adding asparagus as a side for Eggs Benedict. So I'm gonna try cooking the asparagus in the bacon grease. That could be a bad idea, but bacon doesn't have salmonella. I don't know what it has, but it has some. I know this stuff is hot and it hurts. So for poaching eggs, we're gonna add vinegar to this, and then we're going to break the eggs into the water and cook for two and a half to three minutes. Chug. I wanted to add a little bit extra because I have a little bit more water than they called for. One. Whoa, where'd you go, buddy? I bet, I bet my water's too deep. He's drowning. I've always seen him at the top. Oh, you're okay. You still, are you still, oh, he's still like a cold. You know what, we're just gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to trust. If they drown, they drown. Because ah. usually they kind of float to the top. Did we make it? Oh. Barely. Look at him. I think we have one. Make it off. Gotta be crunchy. This better end up crunchy. Put these in the broiler. This is dangerous because it's very hot and easy to forget. Like many of us in this world. Okay. Watcher always sticks to my hands and it is Put it down. 
safely transport the babies to the bun. Patient with our first time. Nope, we are not at that level. Stop! Okay. <laughs> My bones never popped until I turned 30. I heard people popping all the time, and I was like, hmm. And then I am. Um, I popped one time after my 30th birthday and I was like, interesting. And then Ellen treated me to that massage and now I pop everywhere. I think maybe I just wasn't, I, maybe I'd just been tight for like 30 years and then this Asian lady just like whacks my back a few times. <laughs> Those are the only fingers that pop. Yeah. I have the restless hand syndrome. 